Yo, what is up, y'all? And welcome back to another excellent stormative stream where um, today I've got something a little different on the music part. Sorry if some of these are muted. It's the Funky Game Jams Volume 3. So it's a bunch of video game music compiled by ALF, followed by the Crescent Moon emoji. Um, yeah, it's Funky Game Jams Volume 3. So I appreciate this YouTube user compiling these and um, hopefully they're all old and won't get muted. I got only one or two songs muted when I played like a four hour one of these, but it was a different video, different YouTuber. So, you know, we'll do the funky jams and give this a shot. I was almost going to try something not video game music and I was just looking at a lot of stuff and I saw this. And I was like, yeah, we can go with a funky jams vibe for this stream. I was kind of feeling like chilling because I got rained on earlier. <laughs> but anyway, so we're back on file two since I'm on the camera and mic. This is kind of an old file slash no mic and cam while I'm watching Evo file. Those were like a couple of fun streams and I still got some views, which I was really grateful about. Um, yeah, let's just stick with starting here. This has been kind of fun. I forget, like, I know this one's really hard. I kind of forget what most of these even are. I gotta freaking unlock some more. Maybe we'll try to do that later. All right, so let's do this one. I rule. I rule indeed. The knife is very good. I already got the Mega Satan key. I think I did this challenge accidentally once while I was doing the April Fool's one. Hello there. Another thing I thought of while I was listening to this intro song, it's the only one I heard so far. Oh, now we skip to the second one actually. Damn, that was a smooth transition. But, um. Yeah, so like if I like a particular song, I mean, that's how I find a lot of great video game OSTs. Just hear one song. Sometimes that one song is like, yo, that's what's up. I forgot about the boomerang till now. Um, and then so usually the whole OST, like, you know, it's around the same quality. Some OSTs kind of have like, I guess, a one hit wonder where like, <laughs> like, um, there, there's some better term for that. That's not really right. But basically an OST where one song is like a standout incredible and the rest are good, but don't quite measure up to the really good one, or two, or three, or whatever it is. I'm not gonna name any names. There's one series I really want to say, but I don't at the same time. <laughs> so on a different topic, I am error. Yeah, this run is super blessed, dude. I already freaking doubled my health. Got a bunch of random swag. A lot of money. Interesting. I feel like we gotta do this, right? Got gotcha, you, mate. I feel like getting the speed up that we just got with the caffeine is like the best thing right now. It's just one of the many um, really funny details in this game is how the, let's pull it up. Yeah, caffeine pill right there. How it like makes your size go down because that was something I always heard when I was growing up. Like I never really wanted to drink coffee like literally until I got to college. Um, <laughs> I 
I don't remember like ever drinking it even at Starbucks before then very much but um sometimes at some bookstores actually but anyway um when I was like really young like in middle school and before growing up I didn't really care about coffee and some of my friends were like yeah I'm trying to drink some coffee and that was something that like their parents and people always say is like drinking coffee or coffee or caffeine like stunts your growth so it will like make your um like puberty or growth hormones slow down i guess was the idea i would assume there's some truth to that um i never really bothered to look it up so i mostly only drink coffee um once I was uh, at least about the age of 19 or 20 or something. I kind of want to get that, but I should keep the boomerang. The knife might get really good. I mean, it's already good, but like... If it doesn't get much better, I'll need something extra with that. Stocks are bombs. What the hell did you do to Isaac? Oh uh, yeah, he's um spinning around and going around crazy with a knife. Became a total savage. <laughs> hey, that baby face mode was so weird, lol. Oh wait, what was it? <laughs> into the music. <laughs> but yeah, welcome to the stream to Kobe Rabbit. Hope you're having a good day. We're listening to some funky video game jams or something like that, so oh, I see I was looking at it weirdly, totally my bad. <laughs> yeah, is it kind of cause he has the anime eyes right now? <laughs> uh this is one of the challenges. There might be some other weird properties to it. I kind of want to make some more anime Isaac jokes, but I think I've already probably made too many of those. That would be really weird, but then again, there's a lot of really weird animes. Especially horror animes and mangas. So it's not totally impossible. <laughs> and this would be the, the theme song, the opening theme song though. Literally. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, uh, didn't really do much gaming today. Until I started this stream and... I've been getting a lot of stuff unlocked. Most of it was on the other file recently. <clears throat> Since I was watching EVO and whatnot, but... Yeah, that Evo last night was hype. like really good in the challenges because you get a shop every floor but you don't get any treasure rooms except on like a few challenges 
They were probably too hard on the few of them, so they were like, okay, at least give them the treasure room on this one, dude. Or something like that, I guess. Ah, uh, where's the shop at, though? I'm trying to buy out the whole store like a boss. They have good stuff. Oh yeah, that's some good stuff. Get some swag. Uh, well, at least we got one good thing. Oh, yes, that just gives you more keys. We definitely, definitely will not need that. I mean, unless so there's like a key bomb, is always the exception for that. But um, It makes me wonder, like, an interesting question. Like, if you do a full run, do you have, like, a higher or lower than 50% chance to run into a key bomb? Depends a lot if you, like, go into all the secret rooms. I feel like it's somewhere around 50 or maybe 40. Like, they're pretty rare. But with how fast you unlock stuff in this game, that stuff all kind of fluctuates anyway, honestly. So anyway, let's go. Oh, this is a song from Connect Sports. <laughs> yeah, shout out to Microsoft. Yeah, this playlist is really dope. For this, uh... video with a bunch of songs. This catalog. Oh yeah, this is some gaming right here. <laughs> nope, some rooms are literally like impossible with this thing. I guess we should do this. Worth it. Honestly, since we got the Donald Trump card or the Gold Club member VIP access card or whatever that thing's called, um, getting all that extra money was good. Yeah, that's the thing about the last couple of months and all that. I've been like sometimes using social media too much for real though. Not that often, just usually a couple times a week, around certain times of the year or something, but um, most importantly I always stay tapped into the gaming world. <laughs> Let's do this. Nice. 
must protect the bone heart. I hate using the knife. <laughs> Even on some bosses it can be like that, like the bosses that jump around like crazy. Oh my god. Alright, that's the best thing about the gold card is the greed and super greed. You still get a rotation of items. Well, it's at least worth a shot. Let's see. I mean, the tears for charge items dictates like how fast they charge. Yeah, I should take that. We don't need to make a lot more money, really. Maybe we will, and that will be like, dang, I should have made more money, but this will be a really helpful upgrade for bosses. like on one hand some of these games are kind of more current or something but it's like people stream current games too and all those VODs got muted that'd just be crazy. Been really glad with how well it's been going with uh oh, let's just go. With um Final Fantasy, Seat Rhythm, Final Bar Line. I swear all rhythm games have some name like that except for Osu. But um, anyway. All the anime ones. But yeah, I streamed that a total of 3 or 4 hours. It wasn't muted yet, so it's kinda nice. What do you want me, bro? A necessary boss fight, just for the flex. No reward whatsoever. <laughs> the reward was the, the fight. It was an honorable battle. Oh yeah, and this song I was playing reminds me of something really cool that I saw, so um... <clears throat> One of the games I still um, have to stream, which I've played a lot, and I really enjoy, is this awesome game called Lethal League Blaze. It's like a baseball fighting game. <laughs> or a fighting game where the, the baseball is the weapon. So you hit back and forth and you hit the opponent with the ball to do damage. The easiest way to explain it and um, Lethal League Blaze is the second one. The first one was Lethal League, which I first played on stream some number of months ago, but um, I was thinking about that because sometime like a few days ago, there's this streamer, I don't really know them or know how I started following them. There's a streamer called Soda Poppin. He's like a really big streamer with over 10,000 or 15,000 viewers. And um, this streamer um, was playing Lethal League, which like is such a weird, like obscure fighting game that even most fighting gamers haven't really heard of, so I was like, 
Okay, this guy, I'm gonna have to actually watch this stream sometime now because that's pretty cool. <laughs> there are a lot of like obscure games I like, like that one, where if I know somebody's playing it, I'm like, okay. I respect your gaming decision, sincerely. Especially streaming to a huge audience, because like, a lot of big streamers, like, if somebody was like, hey, like, play Lethal League or something, they'd be like, oh, dude, nobody wants to see Lethal League. All these TikTokers. Such a, that would be like putting on a, a record player and watching a TV show from the 30s or something. Like, <laughs> I think a lot of modern thinking people would think that way, potentially. But, um, yeah, the point is, you know, there's a lot of unsung heroes the context of uh, brilliant games, especially fighting games. Fighting games are number one for that. 100% if you're, um, if you're not only counting like modern ones, but like old fighting games that are really good. It's definitely true. So we'll be back here. I'm gonna come back for that thing. Just to secure the run. Oh yeah, I know I'd heard this song before. This is from Pictionary for the NES. I had the experience of playing and it was lovely. It's available on the Nintendo Switch Online games. I was really pleasantly surprised by it because Picross is um, another really underrated game in like a different way, but it still is. of like shuffling you around. I don't think I'd seen that one before. I think by doing some challenges I hadn't done, I unlocked like pills I haven't really gotten that much. Um, that's like a really great one to have unlocked because I like couldn't care less if I have that. So that's just another thing to get in the rotation that isn't one of the bad ones. That's pretty much how I feel about taking the pills in this game, because some people just like avoid them altogether. Because a lot of them suck, but like, I just always think like, if I get one of the neutral ones or one of the good ones, this is good. But like, if you have, if you have a positive perspective on the neutral ones, it like, I don't know, that, that's, that's such a weird thing in this game. Cause some runs are so good, you're like, I really don't want to get the tears down right now. Or the runs that are barely hanging on. <laughs> um, yeah, should we bring along Spider-Man? Magic 8-Ball, should we bring along Spider-Man? The answer is no. <laughs> Um, but actually, okay, so I will grab this, um... Uh, 
Uh, the song is from a Splatoon. Nice. Oh yeah, let's go. One of the stomping patterns. Oh, and the shooting, I guess. Oh, I forgot to go back and do the forget me not thing and redo the whole floor. Oh well. Alright. It's time to be a savage. Gotta risk it all. Putting my bone heart on the line for this. Sacrifice my bone heart for this. Oh, I actually get something. Nice. Yeah, since I knew that soul heart was there. It's like, yeah, we'll give it a shot. Zero luck, but hopefully we'll still get a lot of the holy beam. Um, I think I'd better stick with this tears up trinket. Okay, these guys are all about to get quick scoped though. <laughs> for you. Perfect timing. Crazy. I didn't even want to try waiting around in there to get hit like a million times. Here. Oh my god, this is so cool. Wait, we need to have a special shout out moment. What a great song that I slightly recognize playing. <coughs> Alright, so um, special shout out moment to all the people at Marvel and the people at Capcom and the people at the ones who did them both because um, this is the training mode theme from Marvel vs. Capcom 2 which I probably heard once or twice in passing in the past and um, Marvel vs. Capcom collection which includes Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and a bunch of older games from that series coming out pretty soon Need to go for about an hour? Oh yeah, that's cool. I'm gonna be here jamming. Catch you later, Takobi Rabbit. <laughs> but yeah, I'm excited about that Marvel vs. Capcom collection, so I'll definitely stream that at some point. Not sure if right when it comes out, maybe, but um, I'm super looking forward to that. And excellent transition moment. I'll hop back in when I'm back. Yeah, that sounds good. Have a good time, and I will catch you later. Thanks again for chilling. <laughs> Alright, gotta be a little more careful now. Oh jeez. Yeah, that was a tough one. 
I feel like that boss we just fought is one of the hardest, like, regular floor bosses. Definitely was the hardest one for me at one point. A lot of hands. Ah, oh, man. use this real quick. That was a great room to use that. <laughs> that worked out perfectly. Uh, that room would have been such a nightmare with this freaking knife dude. His enemies are always kind of tough. They're pretty fast. And the more difficult variations of the eyes that shoot lasers at you. Yeah, that's some of the toughest stuff in the game. Low key. Maybe high key. Maybe there's someone out there who's written a haiku about it. <laughs> oh wait, does that, um, wait, is that gonna do something weird to the horse guy? All familiars, like, orbit around Isaac. Nope. The horse, horse guy is just built different. He's like, oh, you think I'm familiar to you? I'm a lone wolf wanderer. So like I wonder what that even means, but it's probably just for like the regular um, companions like Brother Bobby and Sister Mary or whatever those things are called. Little Bobby, just a youngin. Skeeting was my hobby. <laughs> so they are from one of the songs by Logic. One of his aliases is uh, Bobby Tarantino. But yeah, he's putting out a new album soon with like a robot on the cover. I was like, yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, my horse guy got the eyeball. Good job, horse man. Gotcha, mate. Ooh. Uh, we gotta go for the swag. Don't need that much swag, but, uh. Yeah. Alright, so just two more bosses, really. We just have to beat this floor, and then we can go right to Mega Satan. Yeah, I like, couldn't even see any of that crap. Nice. Did that. It was all skill, for sure. <laughs> oh, that's actually really good right now, because that increases how many the heaven beams I spawn. Oh, jeez. Man, this, uh... 
rainbow thing is actually pretty clutch. Yo, Empress Fordola, welcome to the stream. Thank you for sharing the bun emote with us. Classic bun. <laughs> Yeah, you got here at a pretty awesome time because we're uh, near the end of this awesome run. Alright, we got this, we got this. Oh yeah, this is a perfect song for this. <laughs> Sweet. But yeah, thanks again for uh, stopping by Empress Fordola and hope you're having a good day. Curses are we talking here? Uh, does this override the knife? Mom's knife has priority. A barrage of knives shoot out. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Especially with the magician. Stormy string is always awesome time. Yeah, I appreciate it. And that is exactly how I feel as well. <laughs> Which is what keeps bringing me back for this amazing activity. Okay, yeah, this knife thing is freaking overpowered as hell with the <laughs> with the magician. It's just like we shoot one knife at you, and then like and then thirty like homing missile piranhas are coming for you, boy. This is a, a really cool looking pattern. handle the heat and it made me unable to sleep. Said I stayed in bed for ages and now I got back pain. Uh, I'm sorry to hear about that. Yeah, I hope it will cool down there or um, that your back feels better soon then. That's another thing about streaming. Like I, I have all I've felt it on like some of my longer hour streams or days where I did like two streams that were both kind of long is like sometimes streaming has that similar thing of an office job with like um, sitting down for a long time. It's one of those things that's kind of ambiguous because there's a lot of science for saying we should always be standing up and running around and then there's some science that says like yeah actually sitting down is okay it's okay dude music reminds me of maple story also gg yeah this is virgin mary side pocket three wait there's a side pocket three dude there's there's three side pocket games what I'm learning so many valuable things from this playlist. Because I have this side pocket OST. Um, dude, what? That is crazy. Okay, I am so excited by this. This is excellent news. I must immediately add the OSTs for Side Pocket 2 and 3 to my OST playlist. Sorry for this brief intermission guys, but um, this stuff is really important because at some point I'll have like just a OST playlist that's like very bombastic. 
Oh yeah, dude. Oh my god. I'm, we're probably just gonna listen to this next, honestly. Low key, low key though. And then my pocket three OST. Things are just all so like hidden on YouTube. Side pocket OST vinyl record. Oh my god, dude. They knew that they were cooking with this music. They freaking made a vinyl record. I don't even know if this is right. That one is good. Okay, there we go. But yeah, once again, big shout out to the Funky Game Jams Volume 3 by Al Crescent Moon Emoji. I only get back pain from staying in bed for over 12 hours or so. Oh, I gotcha. But yeah, hopefully uh, you will feel better soon then, and um, yeah, this heat truly has been crazy though. Yeah, I was so distracted, I didn't see what I unlocked there, also I want to check that real quick. Poker chip, what the heck does that thing do? Relaxing with Stormy is always good to fix moods. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> oh, that's helpful for this challenge. We've got three of the bulb springs. Yeah, but I like to, uh, that's something I was thinking about earlier. I kind of forget what I was thinking about exactly, but, um, just that like one of my um, natural abilities or natural talents I guess is um, concentrating on ways to like lower my amount of stress and just being capable of relaxing and stuff so it's something that's um, integrated into part of my presentation and my personality and I hope I can like share that through my vibes of my streams since sometimes life is stressful or these days we are living in is stressful and strange. Probably other words that start with the letters S T as well, but um Yeah, entertainment is important. Video game entertainment is the GOAT. It's number one. <laughs> Better than radio. Better than cable TV. <clears throat> Better than all the above. Need an AC. Yeah, those things are really good. The one in my apartment is really strong, but like... Sometimes you get an AC and then you're just like... You kind of feel cold and you're like, oh yeah, I'm glad I have an AC. But then like after a little while, you're just like, man, this AC is so freaking loud, dude. I need to turn this thing off and open the windows. Maybe that's just me. I'm sure some other people have had that too, but um... <laughs> I always liked having the windows open a lot anyway, so I kind of alternate back and forth. I was just mentioning this other day too about like 
usually right around the time my glasses start fogging up is when I know like, okay, it's too hot, I need to close that window and turn on the AC. <laughs> so I'll kind of notice that like before I actually feel hot or feel like very hot or whatever. Okay, wait, I've got to scroll the video back where I can see what this song is playing. There we go. Some puzzle game. It's a long name. So yeah, this challenge is annoying. It definitely requires some patience. But since you're leaking poison and can't have having these blue flies, won't be too bad. These uh, bombs just take forever to respawn. Maybe worth it. These things are really good against bosses. Uh, what does this do again? Yeah, spawn a soul heart. Uh, well, when you put it in the context of soul hearts, it's hard to say no. So yeah, since it's a blue baby, we can't even grab a red heart to fill the bone heart. Bone heart enjoyers and shambles. Nice. Oh wait, I didn't need to do that. <laughs> oh well. That thing was already worth it. Oh yeah, I've gotta let my bombs respawn next time. You have to wait for them between the freaking rooms. Just really is like that. Um, speed down, damage up. I don't think that affects the bomb, so let's not do that. into the room and I'm holding fire to the right it still like takes like a full second to actually launch like they're so like non-responsive in some ways like he has to get like situated in the room or some shit just launch the brains Soul heart. 
What? It bounced out and went back in. Seriously, bro. <laughs> Just got majorly trolled by this game. Alright, there's one more hope. Ah, uh, he's not even coming this way. <sighs> Better find some more soul hearts somewhere. City. I think I played that game. Knockout City. Um, might be thinking of a different one. the kind of challenge you don't want to have to redo a million times, so hopefully we can keep the run alive. Okay. Well, at least there's that. Mario Kart Wii. Yeah, this does have the funkiness quality to it. Get wrecked by the poison. Brains. Sounds like there's a zombie invading the chat. Needs brains. <laughs> yeah, I'm just kidding. But yeah, welcome to the stream, Goopster. I'm glad you can make it, dude. Yeah, yeah, I think we would like to have that. Yeah, this is my first shot at the brains challenge, so um, hopefully it'll also be my last one for this file. Great. Oh man, my least favorite challenge. Oh really? This is like my most favorite. No, I'm just kidding. But um, <laughs> um, yeah, I like the Bob's brain item a lot. So it's like luxury of having three of them. It's very special. Alright, we got this. No problem. One, two, three, four, yes, exactly. It's the perfect e emote combination, Embers for Dola. Thank you for that. <laughs> now, behold my true power. Bad trip. Yeah, just what I need right now. Oh, you just blow this guy up already. <laughs> All right, we still got two hearts. That's kind of a lot. Yeah, we're gonna be totally fine on this run. One, two, three, four, 
uh, you know, just waiting for my brains to respawn. There they are. Okay. This challenge kind of overstays its welcome with having to go to Blue Baby. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, I was thinking that too. I was like, are you sure you didn't mean just go to the heart? Sure you meant the blue baby. <laughs> this is one of those challenges they knew that people would hate since this item is obviously annoying since it's one of the easiest ways to blow yourself up in the whole game. And it's like, and here's three of them. And character that cannot pick up red hearts. Good luck, have fun. No, you got me. Son of a. Alright, well, that's one good thing. Um. Sure, why not? Oh yeah, I keep forgetting I can do that. Soul hearts, right? I think it actually does, though, because I think the luck affects the uh, Gimpy item or whatever is that one call that I got that gives you soul hearts. The Gimpy or the Gimpster or something. Um. <laughs> Passage. Oh. Well, don't mind if I do once we find the shop. Oh no, not like this. Super intense gaming moment. Dang it. Shop. Yeah, man. Oh, wait, this is gonna. Oh, wait, this is gonna. This is great. Blindfold look. Yeah, that's probably not possible. Well, GG. Might be pretty good, I guess. I mean, that is really helpful for like situations with the little red spiders and whatnot. 
All right, so yeah, let's skip the 4-6 fight and proceed. After I do this, hey. I don't think I can get to that. Oh. That's cool. Yeah, we gotta do it. in the last like two minutes so no extra bombs anywhere so I was gonna try to blow up those flames and yeah I can't get to that I, that wouldn't even do anything right now anyway though <laughs> good old shielded tears I don't think there's shielded Bob's brains. It'd be kind of fun though. Yep, so this room totally sucks right now. <laughs> and this room always sucks, but now it really sucks a lot. Just camping in the bottom right corner. Just get out of there. Shielded brain plus wisdom. Oh yeah, literally, right? <laughs> Shielded brain. I've got my, my tin foil hat on. Shielded from the 4G, 5G. Because you already know they're working on the 6G and 7G. 8G. Nah, I'm just kidding, but yeah, I've heard so there's some new fashion lines with that kind of stuff, like new, new tinfoil hat fashion line <laughs> or like some some like cool rebranding of that Alright, well, gotta use the Suicide King card obviously This rate I would really love to find like a slot machine or especially the fortune teller machine. Give me some soul hearts. Alright, you know what? This game totally sucks by the way. <laughs> the, I think that's the second time I've done that in that room. Like, oh, just give me a room and I can't like can't even go in there because you this is a big like gravity sucking you in thing you're supposed to just like stand there in the corner and just like wait your turn and then like go once it's not going and it's like I, I only have the 1.0 speed it's like oh my god dude <laughs> yeah that's the, this is creating my shaking emotes vibe exactly um yeah you guys are both awesome thank you for the contribution <laughs> But yeah, we're slightly past that one hour mark, and I need to keep very level-headed and cool, calm and collected. Just the usual, regular, lackadaisical, stormative motif, you know, but um, yeah, I'm gonna stand up and stretch real quick, and then we'll resume a uh, super short break, beer. Oh wait, I'm over here. There we go. Beer.
All right, guys, I'm back. So, um, yeah, it's time to use my brain and hand-eye coordination skills that I've accumulated inside it to do brains. Imagine having brain. Yeah, that's impossible since I am a cyborg. I'm a galaxy far away. <laughs> That's my not having a brain <clears throat> dream life or something. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. This is such a weird room layout, dude. I've heard this song in a lot of ROM hacks. That's where I've heard it. I was like, I know I've heard this song, but I haven't played Fur furry Fury of the Furries. Man, that that game was really ahead of its time. It's no wonder people love putting that on their ROM hacks. I just figured out why, because it's from Fury of the Furries. Am I seriously reading that right? It seems like unreal. <laughs> One does not simply have a singular brain. Yeah, only if you lived on a planet, like, by yourself, and there was nobody around you for, like, thousands of light years. Uh, even then, probably not. <laughs> Cyborg has brain, even if it's AI. Oh, yeah. You caught me red-handed, or red-brained, red-brain-dead. <laughs> red-brain-dead, that reminds me of, like... Ah, uh, never mind. <laughs> Gonna make fun of a certain subculture surrounded by the color red, but... <laughs> Alright, anyway. Yeah, we got four soul hearts. This run's looking good. This run's looking fly like a G6. You know, I'm just waiting for my brain to load. Oh, there we go. Alright, we will definitely take the increased speed. Thank you very much. Nice. Yeah, this might actually be really good because these have a pretty decent soul heart chance. Or at least we'll get some money. I'm talking about. Yeah, when I hear this song, I feel like I should be eating like some Doritos, like the Doritos from the purple bag, like the spicy chili Doritos. I'm about to get a high score at an arcade. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pop and Emma Doritos chip. All day, every day. Except for when I run out of Doritos chip. I think that someday I'm gonna make, like one of my emotes is gonna have to be just vibing to the music, really. Yeah, I have been as well. This is such a good uh, collection of songs I found. 
on YouTube, but, um... No, yeah, like, if I have a bunch of emotes someday, one of them is gonna be shaped like the Doritos chip. Except instead of a Doritos chip, it's gonna be a blue tortilla chip, because, like... I don't know if you guys had tried these... These kind of chips before, blue tortilla chips. Very different from the yellow ones, though, that I can definitely assure you of. Because they're the blue corn chips, technically. They come from uh, blue corn. It's made with that. And yeah, those chips are really good. That's like the best kind of chip ever. It's kind of a secret not a lot of people know about for some reason, but you can find them in most grocery stores in the United States. Oh, I shouldn't have freaking picked that up, dude. Oh well. So you're telling me there's options. Hmm, so I'm probably gonna save the Emperor for one of the last floors. I think it's better to use it sooner though, because I'd have to ditch it if I find, like, um... A card that would be good against Mega Satan. Yeah, normally I would be really tempted to grab that, but since we have the... Upgraded Poop Trinket... And this active item, I have to pass on the... Monster Manual. The Monster Manuel. But yeah, shout out to Sonic Spinball. The song is from that. This is basically an extra Bob's brain. Yeah, that is so clutch, like, on runs like this to give you a really good offensive tool. Do you know French? No, I just know um, a lot of Spanish and a tiny bit of Japanese, but that's my only other two languages in English. I kind of wanted to learn more French when I was going through school because I know a lot of people who was learning that, but um, I was so uh, interested in and focused on learning Spanish, so it's been a really long time interest for me. <laughs> so shoutouts to Netflix for having a lot of TV shows available in Spanish. But yeah, I think French sounds really cool. If I ever wanted to learn like a bunch of languages, French and Hawaiian would be two of the next ones. Japanese is my my main third one though. It's my next one to focus on. And sometimes I've done Duolingo, but not like in the long term. But yeah, what about for you, Empress Fardola and Goopster, anybody in the chat? What kind of um, other languages do you guys know? It's something really interesting to me. I'm trying to learn French, I'm too lazy to go to Discord to ask my French friend. Oh uh, yeah, I have a very strong recommendation for you then. So here's what you, sh here's what I would highly recommend you do. Find some website or streaming service um, that has a TV show with a French dub where they're like French 
like a dub voiceover and then subtitles of English or the subtitles of a language you're more familiar with if not English or something. Because it is such a fun way to learn language more and also just like super helpful for to hear different um, many different speakers of the language since like TV shows have a bunch of different people. Speak German, Polish, English, and a few sentences of Chinese. Yeah, so like you can mix up all kinds of languages with like watch it with like French dub and like German subtitles. I feel like that would be so fun. It seems so fun to me as a person with only really two languages and my Spanish isn't like quite like as strong enough to say like I'm bilingual, but I'm like pretty bilingual. So. <laughs> um, but yeah, having more than two, that sounds really cool. I don't currently know any other languages in English. Probably gonna have to learn Spanish eventually. Yeah, that's a pretty common thing in uh, learning this in Spanish nowadays. Such a growing language. But um, yeah, I just love with English and Spanish, just like comparing like different words from English and Spanish and like when the words are like really different from each other it's like what is the meaning or the purpose of this technically it's the science of language what is the etymology of this what is the etymology of this word like I used to talk to so many people about that kind of stuff I was in college pretty good English language times there a lot of English language nerds, which was cool. All right, the run's over. We win. GG, mate. GG, mate. Run's over. G freaking G. A lot of rocks, are you sure none of you guys have an X on it? 50 minutes later, damn I'm good. Yes, that is totally right, you are good. <laughs> you are good, and uh, in accordance with that, you have entered into a good stream. So, welcome back. <laughs> Bun Bun Heart Emote the best, yeah for real. Yeah, I appreciate you guys being here. We've got some awesome viewers in the house, for real though. Nice. Oh yeah, Wave Race 64. Yeah, I love that soundtrack. Alright, stop having so much stuff to hide behind, or that. <laughs> Are you a wizard? Hmm. Well, I will be back in just a sec. Empress Bun Bun. How's your super monkey ball doing, Takobi? <laughs> oh yeah, are you still at the top of those leaderboards, Takobi Rabbit? I'm sure you've been really keeping a close eye on that, right? <laughs> uh, I kind of should have taken Dim Ball, but oh well. Oh, that's annoying. It's alright, I'm gonna get another Soul Heart. No one beats the taco. <laughs> yeah, I was almost gonna maybe do two streams this evening and stream some monkey ball. Then I was like, nah, I'm probably just gonna play Isaac for a long time. I'm so excited to play more of that game though. Cause I sort of want to do the individual leaderboards more. But what I'm really focused on right now is to do more 
world tour runs, which is the first hundred levels in the game. Do more EX world tour runs, which is the second hundred levels. There's 200 levels total. Oh my god, this run is blessed. And then, um, and then after that, I want to do some full game speed runs of all 200 of the levels and submit it to speedrun.com. Is that a challenge? Yeah, you guys have to get up your numbers and <laughs> add me on the Nintendo Switch because the Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble, they really thought of everything. And um, they have a mode where you can have a compare leaderboard spots with your friends, so... Kobe Rabbit and Bruce Fordola. Expect to see you guys making some Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble record times on that thing. <laughs> nah, no, I'm just kidding, but it is a fun game. Hello, my friendo. Yo, play smooth. Welcome back to the stream, play smooth. Hope you've been um, playing smoothly through this day and having a good day and all that kind of smoothness. Something smooth, you know. Um, but yeah, thanks for stopping by the stream, and I hope you enjoy to chill in here and check out this Isaac gameplay. And this guy has robbed all my money, but we got a lot of soul hearts out of it, so definitely a good stop on our journey. I like smooth things, yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty well known that um, in the <clears throat> realm of sacred geometry, the sphere, even the circle, you could say, the circle, the sphere, are very sacred, sacred geometries. Yeah, it's a cool Twitch username, PlaySmooth, also. I feel like that would have to have been a while ago since it's like one of those names that seems like an OG name, like right when the Twitch.tv came out, a bunch of people were logging in, like, alright, I gotta be the first one to get all these usernames, dude. I don't know if young people even like remember that being a thing or not. <laughs> I guess it's still kind of a thing. <clears throat> a lot of things will just let you have more than one person with the same username. Ah, oh, you got me, mate. Mm, death. Alright, it's still a good run. Bun Bun going into tentacle mode. It's pretty much anime bun, right? <laughs> it's like, I don't know what this anime is. I never have watched it. But, uh, isn't there, like, a bunch of tentacles everywhere? Someone, somewhere, at some time, may have said that. <laughs> Alright, GG. Emperor sounds really good on the chest. Don't want to deal with all the boss rooms in this challenge. Yeah, I was thinking to probably use it on the chest. Say it with your chest. Magician, I don't think it will affect these. Oh. Get out of here. My favorite anime is Blue Exorcist. Oh yeah, I've heard that one is really cool. Um, 
I've only seen like a handful of anime. It's kind of a lot of the mainstream ones, like Hunter Hunter and One Piece, stuff like that. And like my video game interest, which goes in a more obscure direction. Um, <laughs> some exceptions to that too, but yeah, I forget when was the last time I heard about this Blue Exorcist. It sounds pretty cool though. I know that one. Been a while since I watched stuff. Yeah, I watch like some stuff here or there nowadays, but I'm mostly on that streaming grind. I'm like, I'm just sitting there like watching an anime, just like, you know, kind of like sitting there like with my hands like kind of crossed like this, just just like on the desk, just like. Vibe and just taking it in, you know. And then just the thought comes to my mind, like I could be bringing more content to the awesome people at twitchtv stormative right now, dude. Um, <laughs> so I've been sometimes just usually watching stuff at night or when I eat food, mostly. the amazing thing about the uh, level of exposure I've had to the gaming world. It's just that I know so many like awesome games I would like to play that there's always like many different ones that I'm like interested in or wanting to add so it's like it's not like streaming is a way to like uh, get through those games and add to my game catalog. I guess maybe it is sometimes. Um, <laughs> Mostly I just play whatever I feel like though. Never watch one episode of One Piece, Naruto, or mainstream animes, or. And I watched stuff while eating recently. Yeah, watching stuff while eating is always a go to for me. It's always like a cool vibe. But, um, <clears throat> yeah, like, a lot of those mainstream animes are pretty similar. Like, they're pretty, uh, masterful or, or brilliant or something, you know? But, like, there are a lot of other animes that, um, accomplish the same thing in some way. Just maybe not on as grand of a scale. Yeah, I've read more manga than watch anime as well, and I really like to read the Berserk manga. It's a really interesting read. <coughs> it was a really interesting read. Nope, oh, found the Empress. And we are gonna need that considering how low my speed is, so. Farewell to the Emperor. We hardly knew ye. But out with the Emperor, and with the Empress is our route on this one. Oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no! Oh yeah! It's the Koid, man. Been found, yes. Found you right there in the Twitch chat with the bun emote. <laughs> but yeah, no, this Empress card will be great because uh, the only thing we're lacking right now is speed. I think like no other stats really matter right now. It's really funny that I took a speed down item earlier. Oh. Freaking asshole boss guy. Oh, we got the powered up meat boy. Yeah, we got some firepower now, in addition to the bombs. 
No, that's kind of worthless. Oops. Come on, I know you want to run into the blue flames a lot. Alright, we have the book. Despite all this heat, I shall make Tortellini will probably feel like hell. Well, uh, that can be really awesome though, because then it's like at the end you're like, I have the Tortellini. And you can do like an Italian hand cooking thing. Pretty awesome. Uh, experience it sounds like. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed to make the tortellini. Is that a challenge run? Why yes it is. This is the brains. This challenge is called brains. Also which emote is that? Dang it. The freaking twitch thing is scrolling. Food ST. Hmm. Oh yeah. That's what's up. But um, yeah, this is the challenge number 27, Brains. Started warming up with I Rule, and I completed it first try, and I was like, yeah, I, I rule. I was like, yeah, dude, I rule, so no problem. I'll just do Brains as well, since I rule. And then it's like, uh, nah. I'm not getting through this one that easily. These are tortelloni, not tortellini. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I see now. Wow. I didn't even know that was a thing. I probably always read that word the same whenever I saw one of these either one. <laughs> like, sure is a wide world, but, um... Is tortelloni also a type of pasta? It's gotta be, like, the twin, twin sibling of tortellini, right? What do you unlock when you beat the challenge? Dude, I don't even know. I'm gonna keep it real with you, bro. I don't even know. <laughs> so I guess we will find out together. I like have learned a lot about this game, but like, I haven't really, um, try to unlock things in a certain order to get the items I like. It's tortellini, but maybe three times bigger. Okay, that sounds awesome. That sounds like the big upgrade then. So tortellini is just like tor tortelloni junior. Gotcha. Yeah, I like the bigger pasta, like always, like those kind of bigger, like Asian noodles and stuff like that. It's like, yeah, like sometimes that thin one can be good, I guess, but like I just, I like eating a lot of meat and stuff, so I like food that's really like American and huge pieces of meat and huge pieces of pasta and um, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I think that's my only quote-unquote regular American quality. <laughs> Hopefully it's my only one. Nice. No clue if there's other differences, but it's so good. Yeah, I'm gonna have to like see about getting some pasta at the store. I haven't had some of that stuff in a while. Might be a good place to start. Uh, well, at least we can go in here. Yeah, that Magikarp emote was really funny as well. <laughs> it's a really good one. Um, I wonder which way is better right now. Technically, I think it's this one, maybe. Ah, betrayed. 
been bamboozled by this game for the billionth time. The billionth bamboozle. <laughs> There's another one. Why do the brains have to delay every time they respawn, man? So much brain delay. It's, it's like my brain is like telling my foot to move and it's moving like two seconds later. Like, imagine having IRL lag with controlling your body. This game is too immersive. isn't fun I guess seems good no no it's fun it's fun I'm having a jolly old time with it and um <laughs> I need to get more practice with Bob's brain because I actually do like this item I like having one Bob's brain at a time and so it's like when I have to get the practice with three of them at a time it's really good practice for when I will have some more runs in the future with one at a time. I'm working on my brain game. Yeah. I'm not trying to become like the, the school's headmaster or anything, but work a little bit on the brain game. Some more charges for the book. BFF works for brain. Oh yeah, yeah it does. Yeah, I, I remember getting some BFF brains before. It's another item would be really good on this run. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, I'm a little bit nervous. Got one. friends forever, I need that. Well, for as long as they have the Twitch website up and running, I'll be streaming on this thing, so... <laughs> forever is a mighty long time. Keep it alive so much because we have the freaking book, dude. Got the freaking book. I 
Oh god, not like this. Not like this. I'm not dead yet. Oh god. Oh, this challenge sucks. Freaking results screen from Mario Kart 8. Dude, I just, I just came in last place. Didn't go in to hear the results screen music, bro. <laughs> You're saying we're only Twitch friends? Oh no, no, definitely not. <clears throat> Just that this is the main hub for our um, mutual interests and in streaming activity. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really glad that we are friends also and that um, we have a cool vibe bringing on each other's chats sometime. <laughs> So yeah, by the way, I apologize in advance or in, in retroactively or proactively or something if I ever troll any people in your chat. <laughs> but that's like one of my favorite things to do on Twitch. It's always a trolling, you just have to kind of treat it like when you're cooking a steak on the grill. Like you don't want it to be too well done, so to speak. Like, you don't want to, um, what's it called, like, go too far or or be too specific or, um, you know, I, I just am, when it comes to the, my particular school of trolling, I'm more on the avant-garde, avant-garde style, if you will. A little bit of maybe postmodernist, but, um, But yeah, Twitch is the place. Do you have cheesecake? If so, we can be real life friendos. <laughs> the hands reaching for the cheesecake emo. Well, I just so happened to have the Cheesecake Factory on speed dial. So you already know I'm ordering myself a banquet. <sighs> After I finish this challenge, which might not be for like a million years. Oh, uh, this is from Elabits. I actually played that game before. Once long ago. Yeah, let's see, what all do I have on speed dial? We've got like the Cheesecake Factory. Subway, Texas Roadhouse, uh, Noodles and Company, local sushi place, local Mexican place, um, two different local pizza places, local Greek food place, um, Yeah, that's about it. This is the main ones. Main base is covered. Two of diamonds. Half a soul heart every floor. Yeah, I'll take that. Bro, I have to make a cheesecake with brownies inside? Oh, come on. You're making that sound like it's a negative, bro. Bro is really here like, oh bro, I have to make like one of the most delicious dessert combinations ever. Oh man, ooh, why, why am I hated by the universe so much right now? <laughs> nah, that sounds like fun, dude. 
this will have an excellent end result. Yeah, I'm about to go to the store and make some of that too, though, for real. Negative in terms of diabetes. Oh, gotcha. So that's the negative part. Yeah, it's hard to hear that then. But, you know, desserts, sometimes it's not all about, like, desserts being eaten. Um... Because they are really nice to look at sometimes. Some random side note. Swag money. Forest Seppin, Secret of the Forest, Bad Dude, Chronotorious. I don't know what any of that means, dude. Damn you, you piece of shit. for the ride. But yeah, I hope that you can have something um, super lovely to eat this evening. All you guys out there, because we are approaching the dinner hour. I'm ringing the dinner bell because it's 6 p.m. This will be one of the streams where I take an intermission in the middle to eat a bunch of food and um, I'm going to turn on my video from the uh, online multiplayer beta. It's still not for a little while. crazy room or really evasive boss. Oh, here's one. Get that cleared out a little bit. Take the chaos, you guys. Chaos shamblers and deniers. Oh, wait, I didn't say that right, but um. <laughs> oh, wait, got a bunch of stuff. Okay. Forget what that one does. I 
I knew he was gonna duck under right before the brain. Magic mushroom? Sure. This is from Lethal League Blaze. I think we might get some Lethal League or Lethal League Blaze and the funky music thing. This is from one of the greatest games of all time, my friends. Stop taking damage from bombs. Alright, funky fresh beats. Send me your energy. I think that's gonna affect my bombs. Chaos shamblers and enjoyers or shambles or <laughs> dang it, I keep trying to mess up that thing on purpose and I'm even confusing myself. Chaos shambles in enjoyers. That is such a horrible phrase. I have cheesecake for every birthday, except apparently this year. Ah, I gotcha. Well, I guess there's always uh, next year and the next cheesecake or something. <laughs> um, Cheesecake is so good. Not the store-bought one though. Yeah, literally. Yeah, I mean, I haven't necessarily had cheesecake recently. But one of the main ingredients in cheesecake is the uh, excellent stuff known as cream cheese. 
really good with bagels. I've got some bagels and cream cheese um, in the fridge. I might have to actually get that now. I've been talking about food long enough in this stream that it's making me want to eat more food. So I appreciate you guys. Thinking about food is good. Good for the body which needs the food. Her speed is still above one now. so small I don't even want to shoot my bombs when they were on either side. It's the only trick about this ride, you just got to be really selective and cautious of when you use the bombs and a lot of times you just got to run around looking like a fool with your pants on the ground and um, not do anything. <laughs> made a subtle reference to a meme from American Idol which I actually saw live like a million years ago yeah it's always a feeling that totally hits different when like you're like witnessing like the birth of a meme it's pretty much just as beautiful as like the birth of a baby or something right Nah, I'm just kidding, but is this guy gonna do anything? Oh my god, yeah. Yeah, my man's a straight up savage with the electric beams. A good find. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, this is a heck of a synergy right now. Because of that previous item we got that does the electricity thing. Alright, we got this. That was one I had. Well, actually, those ones don't matter for me, I don't think. Take that as a good omen. You know, I was born during the year of the rat. Some people say it's unfavorable, but no one ever listened too much to the haters, right? <laughs> Too small. There we go. 
red guy. You got this, dude. Come on, man. You can do this. This one's all you. Alright. So, yeah. It was already worth it to get this fortune cookie. This thing is low-key, like... Oh, a weird chaos moment. Uh, this fortune cookie is, like, low-key one of the best soul heart items, I feel like. electricity anyway. Okay, we got this. Got the blue one, so it's mostly the walls with a little bit of stomping. And they end up putting stalls in here. You can get something out of just coming in here, not engaging the boss rush. I just realized that. song from Wave Race 64. this way for the freaking sword room. Still gotta get to the freaking blue baby.
Alright, so back over that way we go. good brain run. I'm gonna keep on worshipping the sun god. The sun god might show us the way through. Man, they really put this song from Mario Odyssey on here, bro. Overrides technology zero. Yeah, I'll say it overrides it. Now my tiny eyeball isn't shooting anything. Oh, wait. Yeah, he is shooting something. What the heck? So he has a charge meter, and I can't even see it? What kind of nonsense is this? What kind of, what kind of ridiculous nonsense is going on with my floating eyeball shooting a purple laser beam? I can't even like control which way the laser goes is the funny part. Yeah, I'll take that. Holding down. It's shooting any direction but down. Not that surprising, but. Get me out of here. <laughs> Screw that room.
what in the heck is this shit? I'm not shooting any bombs in here, that's for sure. Drop one bomb. Ugh. I've never seen that room like Two more floors. Can we somehow get through the ninth and tenth floor with a bunch of bombs? playing as blue baby for anybody who's wondering like why didn't you feel the bone heart it's totally part of my mind right now too no we need the resistance invincibility for 20 seconds you gotta keep in mind that we have that Man. Maybe a little bit of the laser. <laughs> oh my god, really? basically how you do not want this fight to end up. <laughs> Oh 
Okay, did the thing. You can see the world. Oh, still have to go the whole way around that, dude. There is that. Was under that pot, and it took damage from it, dude. Well, let's do this. Myself. Yeah, I believe in myself for this run. This run is gonna win. Get one bone heart at least. And the knife. Alright. Great group of items that was. The guy went on the side. Wanted to have for myself. Okay, more of the world. That's cool. I was hoping that would, the world card showed where the other secret room is. It only shows us one. It would be cool to get the other one right now, too.
Oh, freaking dashing guy, dude. Ah, oh, man. Well, back into the meat grinder we go. I'm gonna take a quick break and then a longer break. So I'm gonna put a bagel in the toaster, then have that. So yeah, super quick break. BRB. Alright, yeah, let's start this run real quick before I go eat some food. This seems to be well done, so it should be take a few minutes. Um, it's a really specific way to do this room. <laughs> Drawing a heart with the green stuff. Heart emote for the chat, y'all. Here, okay, here's another one. Oh yeah, that was a good one right there. <laughs> yeah, that's for all the chat and the viewers. Appreciate you guys. So yeah, we're gonna take that. Shoop the loop the blarg and largan whatever the heck. Yeah, we'll be fine on soul hearts. Just got an extra one. Ooh, nice. to use that there. <laughs> oh my god. 
bad. This is one of the best rooms to have the clearing rocks out of the way ability. Ah, uh, and he was hiding that rock back there. Ah, oh, dang it, I went to pull away from grabbing that like the last second. Cause he gives us damage and tears up which don't matter. Speed down, but the speed does matter. That's alright. We got the shoop to loop to blargan something or other, so. And that brings us to the end of that. Uh, OST. Just listen to Earthbound other day, so we're gonna mix it up and let's go for listen to the Jet Set Radio soundtrack again. Jet Set Radio Future. Pretty cool vibe. Yeah, so I guess we'll take this run, see how this thing goes. But yeah, I'm gonna take a quick food break, y'all. So, um, yeah, allow me this moment here. Um, actually, you know, I'll throw on the repentance thing. I wanna leave you guys with some entertainment. Might take a few minutes. Cause I might eat more food after I have this bagel. Let me see here. Um, there we go. Okay, so let me do this this here, come over here, there's me, hello, um, okay, so, yeah, I think that'll be pretty good. All right, so yeah, enjoy this old video of me, guys. I'm gonna take my food break now. I'm probably just gonna try to eat a bunch of food. I was gonna take like a longer food break later, but this will be the food break. And um, yeah, check out my old multiplayer beta footage, guys. And yeah, beer beer. Can we just go do mega saving already? Uh, I guess not. Uh, still not ready to go, huh? Alright. <laughs> 
Cody Isaac taking on Mega Satan. Dude, there's two hearts down here. Come get these. Finally. These guys are playing recklessly. Doing really well though. These guys are both really good. Dude, get the freaking heart, bro. This guy is so dumb. Oh God. But GG. GG, hi hi, Willow Eli one, hi hi. Sorry, I uh, wasn't responding to all your Discord messages. I still don't get on there that much. How you doing today? I, I'm doing very well, thank you. You got here at a perfect time, uh, but I'm gonna take a short break and then we're gonna do more runs to BRB. So, 
input delay, but it was still kind of smooth. So I guess if we're lucky, we'll get something like that again. Good luck, have fun. Okay. Ow. We are back, yo. This is what Eli one says in the chat. We are back, yo. And we are gaming. It is the Binding of Isaac Repentance online multiplayer. Uh, I miss having the D6 already. Very being peas. Finally got one. Oh, go back. People who use the bombs and just like purposely take damage instead of moving out of the way, I do not understand, bro. This stream is so hype, right? This is the most hype video game ever. No, actually, I kind of usually find this video game pretty relaxing. Probably part of why it's not, not the best stream game, but um, I'm hoping to have another super hype Mario Maker stream tonight. I'll take that one. All right, well, we're down to three players. It's looking pretty good, so. But yeah, Willow Eli won. Uh, let me know what you think about this game, if you've played it or something, or what games you've been playing today, or how's your day been going, or stuff like that. Dinosaur emoji. I totally feel that. It's totally my vibe right now, no cap. Something tells me this run might not get as far as the previous one. It's just a, a game theory. Wow. I really like how they put three items for the after you defeat a boss or however many players you have. No, one person can just be a jerk and try to take all the items. It's really funny.
god. I don't know why we're doing this. to small boy mode. <laughs> well, I guess this run is in the hands of Glass Beach fan. I don't know what Glass Beach is, but... Seems like a bot trying to scam you in your chat, lol. Uh, which bot? Are you talking about Jumbo Undefined 1817? The only person I've been seeing talking in the chat the few pa pa uh, past few minutes is you, Willow Eli1. Are you exposing yourself? Are you the bot who's trying to scam me? No, I'm just kidding, but um, <laughs> yeah, if there's some bots talking in the chat right now, I literally don't even see them. What? Robbie's still in small boy mode. my damage up at least so I do a little bit more damage than do basically nothing <laughs> about Luna David 1, Lamau. Yeah, I don't know if that guy was a bot or just somebody really stupid. It could have been either one. Uh, but either way, it was really funny because <laughs> then they said something about God and I was just like, please tell me more about the word of God. Random Twitch person trying to sell me something. Um, and then after that, he was like, okay, I've had enough. Goodbye. Can I have the treasure room item, please? This is quite fun, though. Um, I'm glad you think it's quite fun. I think this is quite fun as well. No. <laughs> I just realized it shows the letters above the head when you're typing. Oh, O M G. There it was doing that. O M G. Exactly the game. Yeah, this game is quite fun. Whoops. 
It's mine. Sweet. Health down. Heck yeah, bro. Health down and get hit by a bomb. Heck yeah, bro. Yeah, I've uh, I've put quite a bit of hours into this game. Though. I'm a pretty huge fan. Like I was saying earlier, the completion marks I have on this account don't really reflect my skills in this game. Because I've mostly played it on the Switch and all that. But um, yeah, I got, I'll grab this one. Sure. Coin. Um. Yeah, and I have a tattoo of Isaac on my left arm as well. <clears throat> oh yeah. I think I was shaking his head no. Does up and down mean like yes then? Um, yeah, let's do this one, guys. Might as well, right? Oh no! Didn't see those guys behind you, Robbie. Yo, what's up, guys? Bro. Jump scare on the break screen. Yeah, yeah, what's going on? So, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm back and we're gonna do some more gaming. Switch over from the old video of me to the music. Alright, yeah, so let's get back into this now. We got a pretty good run with the brain. Since, um, got the laser guy. It's honestly going to be better for room clearing than for bosses. <coughs> okay. Oh, that worked out. Spawned on my poison. And yeah, with any active item with two charges, gotta always use it in the big rooms. Thought that run was gonna be the one, but you can never be too sure in this challenge. Yeah. Yeah, for real, dude. Yeah, but that was a good sign of progress. Like, I've been getting re, re accumulated or re assimilated this challenge so definitely making progress maybe we'll get some more good RNG some good soul heart items Oh yeah, we found the Empress once again. Alright, so that will be really good for later. <clears throat> Gotta check under every last rock. See if we can find something.
Gotta be over here then. <clears throat> oh yeah. <clears throat> so should have one soul heart. I think that's kinda likely. On the earlier topic, I'm pretty sure Magic of D-Stone might be a better or worse Neptunus. Yeah, that's a good way of putting it. Like with some builds it could be even better. But some builds it can like kinda slow you down or um I'll have to use it again sometime soon, because I forget exactly. I ended up using it a bunch of times on my account on the Switch. There we go. Alright, did we get the buddy in the box? Oh yeah! In bonus 5. 6. Yeah, that was lucky. Alright, so yeah, that'll help with our offense a tiny bit. I believe we're at 0.5 speed though. <clears throat> Definitely not ideal. Dang it, freaking words are in the way. <laughs> the one downside to this uh, mod. That's alright. Okay, I'll take the soul heart. Point five is too freaking slow, dude. to spawn. Like, is the buddy in the box having penny tears? I guess that's what those are. I feel like it's gotta be. Ooh, nice. Unlimited bombs for this floor. Definitely has penny tears. That's cool. I didn't even know that was a possible thing as a companion. I'm gonna take this opportunity to find both of these secret rooms.
There's one. Hmm. It's gotta be one buddy in the box that uses the teleporting tears from Fruitcake. Oh yeah, totally. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, there's one that's kind of like quickly teleporting or something. Yeah, it'd be pretty sick. I think I had one before that has that effect of the black circle worm trinket where your tears go in like a huge arch away from you. It's one of the craziest things. Uh, no. Yeah, check it out, y'all. So yeah, I think I've checked everywhere on that side of the map for the other secret room. Okay. Okay, so yeah, let's get that soul heart. And honestly, from here, we can just go back. Like, I don't really want to do a lot of extra room clearing. It's like we have pretty good health for now, thankfully, but... Um... don't really have a good soul heart source right now. Going in the hole that I dug myself, not letting the game dig any holes for me. to go check out. Yeah, it was good.
Hmm, sweet. <clears throat> Alright, um, no, let's go back and get this shop. Should at least find that. getting lucky randomly finding a lot of health early in this run. Pretty sweet. spend the money to grind for uh, for soul hearts since we're sitting at 11 feeling pretty confident Th this is my my perfect beautiful confidence theme song just in time <laughs> oh yeah this song is so funny Dang it, shot it the wrong way. Um, the Hanged Man. Ooh, nice. Ah, I can't even take this with me. Dude, that totally sucks. We cannot let go of the Empress. I I'm Salute this red key piece, cracked key. Would take you under any other circumstances, but that extra speed is uh, gonna be nice. It comes to the final boss of this challenge run. Yeah, getting an XL might be good. It might also be not good. Damn, son. Sitting pretty right now, good luck. Oh uh, yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, this song makes me feel really pretty too. <laughs> makes me feel many different emotions. Sign of some true artwork. This is a really nice song. Oh uh, yeah, I, I'm glad that I'm not the only one who likes it. Thank you for sharing my opinion. Yeah, Jet Set Radio is so goaded. There are like 
so many very amazing Sega game soundtracks. But yeah, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna end up like looking through every single one of these floors because I would like to really find this shop. Ah, uh, we could even just speed run right through this. Oh man. I feel like I should kind of skip the shop. TBH. I feel like I should skip the shop low key. As for me, I just got a stairway from Angel Deals. Oh, yeah, what does that stairway item do? I, um, I vaguely remember that one, but I'm not exactly sure. Or you get a stairway to an angel deal. Okay, yeah, that is so cool. <laughs> yeah, I remember seeing that now. Um, yeah, that's a really cool looking one too. Uh, whoops. So long, bone heart. You have to pay for angel items? Oh, okay. Yeah, I guess they didn't want it to be too overpowered or something. This is a beautiful 3x3 three three square. Absolutely lovely. I don't think I've seen that before on one of these. A non-sale mantle. Good angel items are 30 cents. Oh, so it does like the 15 and 30. Like with devil deals with the keeper. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Nice. Yeah, it's going to be really fun once I have like gotten a lot of completion marks in this file. It's like, feels like you like double and triple the amount of items in the game basically. for room clearing. Okay, so it's gotta be on one of these two routes. Gotta pay the Pied Piper over here. Pied Bomber. Damn son.
Ah, oh, dang it. Freaking wrong way, laser. <laughs> yeah, that room would have been pretty crazy to go through at that point. It was a good time for the black heart to do its thing. Alright, we finally found the thing. Hmm. Well, this totally sucks. Okay, this run's still super good. Got a bunch of keys to get the key bomb. This song makes me feel like I'm like playing Final Fantasy uh, beat rhythm final bar line. This would be a killer song in a rhythm game. Which I'm sure it has been like many times over. But I don't really play much like custom rhythm games. I love the stuff they do with Clone Hero though. Got a planetarium because of my telescope lens trinket. Oh yeah, I love that trinket. It's a really cool looking one and I love its effect. Really a nice shade of dark blue. Oh boy, range up. This is a good Binding of Isaac song right here. <laughs> no! Alright. Yeah, I can appreciate that for that all rhythm games go through the coding, and the music especially. Yeah, there are so many um, amazing different variations of um, rhythm games and like, especially most popular in Japan, like, arcades are, like Japan is still the biggest place for arcades and um, I just remember I went to one Japanese culture convention in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and um, yeah, that thing was really cool. And yeah, they had like a whole arcade room, it was like this huge room. And it was basically like half fighting games, half rhythm games. I really liked that part of the... <laughs> that part of the, um, the event. But yeah, they had like... 20 or 25 or 30 different rhythm games and I was like man these guys have all kinds of crazy stuff and like some of them just had like a high barrier of entry and like the most high like skill ceiling ever where you would just be like swinging your arms around like crazily on some of these to keep up with the fastest ones and um yeah it's just such a different kind of vibe than like the Western rhythm game started off with Guitar Hero and Rock Band and whatnot. <laughs> Much different. Okay, when it comes to video game media, I always think that the most 
excellent long lasting idea as well. Come from Japan. <laughs> There's some good exceptions though, like this game. Alright, need to stop losing this health. Tend to feel some ball in. Take it easy over there with all your throwing up random shit. Take it easy with the spikes. Jeez, man. Perfect. room at all. Alright, okay, my buddy has got my back. Well, hopefully this run won't randomly die at some point on this floor. Buddy in the box has been like necessary to get through like all of these rooms I feel like. Yeah, I shouldn't have thought I was risking that. There's no justice in this world. 
And I keep getting red hearts and I'm playing as the blue baby. No justice. to the boy from the box. That boy. Alright, how much damage did we take? I think it was a lot. There's Justice, and that Bethany will always get soul hearts that she doesn't need. <laughs> yeah, it all kind of balances out. Oh yeah, no, we're doing fine, guys. No, this run is great. We're in great condition. Half of one soul heart remaining. So easy. I lost the easy video game. Oh, whatever. Happy Pride Day. <laughs> nah, no, just kidding. I'm not giving up that quickly. This is a fun challenge. I'll be looking forward to start with that one. After I finish this bomb one, I'm probably going to do some other runs, and then the next stream we'll start with Pride Day, but we're going to do this one. I, the one thing I forgot on my break, I wanted to grab a Red Bull, so I'm going to grab that real quick, guys. Pride Day on July, yeah. Yeah, let me, let me share.
Having intrusive thoughts to use the Bible in the Satan fight. Well, I guess that means your intrusive thoughts are coming from the right... the right part of the universe. If your intrusive thoughts are coming from the part of the universe that wants you to, uh... come up with ways to defeat Satan, that is a good unconscious mind you've got there. <laughs> nah, I'm just kidding. I don't know if that would uh, have any positive effects. Because I'm trying to think, I don't think any of the attacks are negated by flight. Which would instantly kill my run. Oh, for real? Did it make you like instantly die or something? I'm drawing another heart for Twitch chat. There's my heart for you guys. Love you guys in a streamer viewer way and um, <laughs> glad you guys are here. Correct. Oh man, I didn't even know that was a thing. There, there are so many fascinating tidbits of knowledge about that book. What do they call it? The Bible? Hey, more buddy in the box. It might be actually really helpful later on, the fact that we got this buddy. who's a freaking guy standing on a little car. <laughs> uh, that's a cute one. Uh, or is that a UFO? Man, I don't even know what type of vehicle this dude is rocking. It looks like a car from there, but man, that's really cool. I need to figure out what genre of music this is and find more of it. Mm, well, I guess I would be a fool to not bring the death card. Um, but honestly, this can give you soul hearts, which is something I've learned. So let's go find one of the rooms I didn't do and try our luck there. I think there was one or two. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, did we go this way? Damn, son. I, I guess I would rather take this than the death card. It'll be kind of more fun and interesting to take Ace of Hearts and see if we get Soul Hearts. It's a good streamer choice. Like, cause the death card, it's like you've been losing so many runs. This will get you instantly out of one of those rooms where you lose like three hearts in one room, but. No, man, we're doing the YOLO. And like, the ideal thing would be with the Ace of Hearts, if I find an enemy with a lot of, an enemy with a lot of rooms. A room with a lot of enemies, like, and it's a threatening room. Um, and all the enemies are above a spot I can walk to. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Alright, I'm doing it, YOLO. Yes! I was like, dude, that's a lot of enemies. And that's how you do that, my friends. Optimal plays, resource management 101, swag. Greed has a lot of rooms, owns the shop. But like, greed mode? Crawl space mode? Um, uh, the random pickups guy, I don't think I would really want this guy actually. But I'll take him anyway because he can grab the coins I can't access and um, 
After the sixth floor, he can have all my money because I don't really <clears throat> need it after that. Also, what the heck is that buddy in the box, dude? <laughs> it looks like a tentacle, but it's like. Ugh. really cool and hard to decipher. Greed is the one keeper that owns the shop in my head cannon. Oh nice. There's just a chance they're in a bad mood. Oh yeah. Head cannon. Just got a big cannon on your head and it's like alright. Preparing to launch. Isaac's dad was once the president of the United States. Oh wait. Didn't mean to actually say my headcanon out loud. That was the most wild and brazen improvisation joke I've ever made, Kappa. Stop stealing my money. Wow, yeah, I totally missed Bud Cannon. Now I have Glass Cannon. Oh, got him. <laughs> nah, I didn't even notice that you did misspell it, honestly. Um, I was just thinking of a cannon joke. Because, yeah, the only thing I know about Head Cannon is that people in the Danganronpa community have a lot of that. A lot of that head cannon stuff. It's very cannon ish. It like explodes like a cannon. But yeah, that reminds me of um, something which I think is really funny is that. Um, so the One Piece live action, I really love that and apparently they're like almost done with season 2 or something like that or getting close to almost done or whatever the case was but um, dude get farther away from me. Um, and yeah the funny thing though like I follow some of the One Piece live action groups and fans and whatever and um Like one of the most popular things is people will find like various actors and actresses from around the world and do what they call a fan cast. So it's like the the fan is casting a certain actor or actress generally without their knowledge or consent or anything and just being like, hey, this person should be this character and here's why like blah 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 a bunch of reasons like there's always there's always like multiple paragraphs of reasons why like this person is like the exact perfect fit for this character you know and then so it's like dude like these people that make the one piece live action are making like millions of dollars and they have fans like out here like doing their work for them for free because like <laughs> Like casting and um, auditions and stuff for acting, this probably can sometimes take a long time for like something as serious as the One Piece live action. And it's like, yeah, you know where to start your list of applicants, bro. It's like just look at the most most liked or most reposted fan cast, and it's like, boom, there you go. But I just like never even thought of fan cast as like a thing. I don't know if that's been much of a thing in the past or something, but for a One Piece live action, it totally is for real. And it's cool in a way, it's just like not something I would do other than like in a casual way, like, oh, like what if, what if this actor was this guy? That would be so like cool. <laughs> like, but just like go to the level of writing an essay about it, like. It's just really cool in a way, just to like show how much people feel like they have a say on these 
sort of um, somewhat private decisions or, you know, executive decisions. Random fan from the middle of, like, Utah is like, hey, man, th there's this guy who, who is in, like, a million Shakespeare plays. He's really dramatic, you know, just but let him be Wapple from the Drum Kingdom, really. <laughs> this, this, I feel like I've seen a lot of those. Maybe it's just what comes up because I engage with it or something, but... Um, Okay, yeah, I was just getting caught up on the chat. I just say headcam it comes to Isaac because it's very likely that there's just individual keepers at each shop. There's a possibility that Greed owns every shop. Yeah, that's really cool. That's a really... I'm glad you shared that because I never thought of that perspective um, with different characters in the game. I just was always, like, kind of... Um, I, I take like the main story about Isaac being trapped in the box as like the backdrop and I just never really thought about it much beyond that. Apart from like the obvious aspect of how like, you know, just something that everyone who plays roguelike games has considered, which is that <clears throat> the repetition of the roguelike game cycle mirrors the cycle of life and reincarnation and the day and night cycle, the endless cycles we go through repetitively throughout life. They're so pervasive in this world that they made it into a whole video game genre called roguelike. <laughs> and they are rogues indeed for doing that. <clears throat> But yeah, it's just part of what makes these games um, have have some depth to them, I guess you can say. And um, but yeah, so so that reminded me from what you were saying, Goopster, because like um, it's like I always just thought like all the guys in the shop and all the bosses are like only existing in the in the realm of this run at this specific time on this specific computer and after that just like is uh, resting and lying dormant in the computer code yeah I don't think any of that's gonna do anything for me but since we have full health I'm gonna be greedy and take this I'll dig my own hole, thank you very much. Yeah, because like the full health, who knows how long that's will ever last, right? So I'm just gonna dig right down to the boss like really quickly. Don't wanna hit all of the mushrooms. Come on buddy in the box, you can kill one tiny guy. Nerd, <laughs> no you. Got him. Boom, roasted. <laughs> but yeah, thanks again for joining the stream, Empress Wardola. I'm glad you're still enjoying this terrific binding of Isaac. At point five eight speed. Oh, we found the boss. Uh, yeah, I still feel obligated to go find this shop. Ugh, oh, it's way down there, bro. I was lurking while eating. Oh yeah, how did the tour to Loney turn out for you?
Yeah, I'd like a bagel and some of my beloved blue tortilla chips with guacamole. And I got some of the habanero guacamole when I was at the store. I was like, yeah, that's probably like nothing like probably nothing too spicy for me and um I, I was really pleasantly surprised how they actually put a good bit of peppers in there hallelujah it was all worth it good at cooking, which I find annoying to say for sexism issues, lol. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. But other than that, hot food in summer is the worst, even if it tastes godly. Yeah, because it's like you don't want to eat something hot when it already feels hot. I love hot weather too much to really feel that way, but like... I would feel that way like in times when I've been like really hot, but if it's like below like 90 degrees, I would still like be some hot food, yep. But uh, no, I mean it's really awesome to be good at good at all stuff. Like I, I'm really uh, really like uh, how can I say? What's what's some negative stuff about guys? I'm trying to think. Just too many, too many, um, <laughs> too many to choose from, and too many to choose from that I don't want to choose. Yeah, I have them all. I've inherited them all. Just want snow while warming myself up with blankets, warm food and tea. All right, you gotta move more north than where you are. Probably, you need to you need to get away from the equator. The equator is your worst enemy in this context. <laughs> so just stay away from that thing and go towards the north or south pole. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's most people's ultimate uh, weather temperature destiny is you either will want to end up being where it's really cold or really hot. <laughs> and I still uh, have no idea like what's the difference exactly. Or, or why people can feel differently about that so often, I mean the same. But um, yeah, I want to definitely go like more towards the equator because I like just wearing like kind of warm weather clothes, like what I have on now, like shorts and a t-shirt. Sometimes the tank tops because when I wear anything else, it feels too like restrictive to me. Canada wasn't so close to gun country. I'd move there because I got friends there, and it's snowy. Snowy. This could be another pasta name too or something now, but <laughs> Yeah, no, Canada seems really cool to me though, because like they were one of the first people I mean they were one of the one of the earliest places in this world to um to legalize the helpful plant. Which has some medicinal benefits. It should only be used under those contexts. But um, yeah, when I heard about that, I was like, yeah, I guess maybe I will move to Canada if, if I was if I was ever called to move there for some reason. Snowy, oh uh, yeah, I kind of like Snowly better. I think Snowly sounds like really cool. <laughs> It's like, it's like snowy, but it's like more fancy or something. But, um... Yeah, it's definitely close to the 
big gun country and there it's such a huge country there's um like two or three big cities but it's mostly really just like rural and very foresty and snowy Cause yeah, I still have not been there, but some people in my family lived there in the past, so... Um, your friends. Oh yeah, look how many bombs we got now. <laughs> yeah, we have got to do that. Oh, it's so good. It's so many bombs. I'm sure nothing, I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Of course not. HP up. Okay, okay. Let's take those. Hey, more HP up. Let's go, dude. Shoot it. Oops. All right, GG. Yeah, I feel great about this run. Oh wait, that increases your speed. Mm. Honestly, I don't know. I don't know what the best play is here. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be totally open and honest and admit that with you guys. It's hard to say. What's so funny about this game is like I love like the rush and like the fast pace of a lot of like Super Mario World levels, a lot of sets in Street Fighter 6. And like you definitely get the same like fast paced, like somewhat like adrenaline rush feeling on the fast runs in this game. But there are always moments like this that'll just completely like stop you in your tracks and it's like how, it's like you can just see two roads diverging. It's like, how do I proceed here? be helpful to have the flight as well. went over top of the buddy in the box. I was like, what is that?
We can... Oh, I should have grabbed that soul heart after the um after I grabbed the restock thing. Actually, yeah. What is this again? Triggers its effect twice. Yeah, it's alright. Nah, uh, the doing the mom fight with all these bombs and all the enemies spawning like literally all around you. This is the best floor to skip, so we will take that. Be mind that rock so hard. Get out from up there, dude. <coughs> I think it's actually smart to take the floor skip over the crawl space you could get with a Waz for this challenge in particular. Yeah, it's like exactly right. I'm just trying to get to the end of this thing and quickly battle myself, battle the character I'm playing as in boss form and get more completion marks. Birds going ham. is freaking like shooting in a weird circle pattern behind me. Alright, let's try doubling the bombs and see. Did it not double my bombs that time? That was weird. Alright, we get more speed. That's good. Um... I think you'll ever find Henry during your road to Dead God. I forgot what that means. That sounds very slightly familiar, but I think I learned it a long time ago. I don't think I've seen that uh, in any of my runs. No! Freaking big ass bomb. Now I can outrun you with my mad speed. 
Wow, that was like one of the worst possible outcomes that could have been. Henry is the secret dross enemy that can be found in one room ever. Oh, that's right. Yeah, the dross enemy. Yeah, I don't know what the odds are, but I think I would probably find him at some point. I mean, it's like 30 something characters, and I won't complete the knife run first try with most of them, probably, so. Uh, I just realized what happened with the active item I have, like, you have to have all three bombs on the screen when you use it to double them, or it'll only double the ones that are, like, there right when you use it. Just thinking about that, like, how is it different? Represent, 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 represent. But yeah, I'm glad you told me about the Henry Secret Dross boss enemy that can be found because, like, my Switch account, there were, like, still, like, four or five or six missing spots in my in my bestiary, the thing with all the different enemies, and I was like, just like, dude, how have I not seen this many of the enemies? And then it started to make sense, because like, there are some tiers or active item or some weird thing you can do that like, downgrade enemies to like a lesser form, or like, it's something weird like that, but like, that's probably how you get a lot of those, by getting like a certain enemy form that can only be created from whatever that thing was. I might be thinking of Enter the Gungeon, honestly, because I think there's something like that in there. Maybe it's both. doesn't appear in the best area unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I must have been missing some other guys too then. Yeah, that's weird that he doesn't appear in there. This must have been like a super secret operation for the bonding of Isaac team. Dude, where the heck are we going? Need some random soul hearts or something, bro. Oh my god, really? Found a secret room, that might help. Be missing some of the alt path ascent monsters. Yeah, that's probably right. I don't even know what that is, too. Yeah, 
the ascent. Yeah, I don't think I've heard of that or seen that. Four hearts, dude. We need some lucky stuff to happen. Sent to the beast. Um. Oh yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I think I was missing some of those too. Yeah, that sounds right. Cause um, I remember like the first time I saw a bunch of those was like. A little while after I started playing Repentance as well, so some of those can appear kind of later. So that's what they call that group of floors, the Ascent. I was just thought of it as like the nostalgia flashback or something. But I wasn't always privy to the Binding of Isaac discourse. Also, Tainted, Faceless, I've ever found one of those. So they must be rare. Yeah, it sounds interesting. I wonder if I would recognize if I, if I saw that. Oh, this is going great. Ah. Oh. Back to square one. Freaking empty piece of shit. I'm restarting this until I get a starter piece of shit that gives me a soul heart, dude. We've gotta have that soul heart. Must have it. Nah, I'm just kidding. Soul heart changes everything. Yeah, we didn't not get many. Like, I got to full health really early on in the run, and then the game was just like, all right, you've had enough. You're cut off. It's like, but it's only 8 p.m. Oh, yeah, it's actually 8 19. Let's all get together, let's all get together. <laughs> Some of the vocal samples in this are just like really funny to me. Very creative. Alright, give me the swag. No! You are worthless trash to me. Small rock. Hmm. I think the thunder thighs the game gives you makes the challenge harder. Speed down is tough, yeah. Yeah, like it's a little helpful to be able to break stuff, but it's mostly in inhibition because it's really hard to run away from and kill small fast enemies which that describes like a lot of enemies in this game okay so we don't know where the freaking heck we are love that Nice. All right, so there's two ways to go in here. Listen when Spike Lee told you I got game. I'm diplomatically 
Dang it. Got to be out of here like Bill Clinton. Nice. Aged very well. Fiery stupid bomb. Would have taken the pack. Yeah, just like I'm so attached to my health right now. I was thinking about it, but last time I was in the devil deal and we almost had a speed up. I took it, so I was like Yeah. Or is that one of the ones that gives you a black heart as well? I may have temporarily forgotten that detail. Oh yeah, it gives you the black heart. Yeah, I forgot about that detail. I'll have to remember that next time. to go back to the shop. Imagine getting like the holy mantle or something like soul heart related It'd be such a game changer right now. Detail that only makes the item free for blue baby. Yeah. Oh yeah, baby. The baby is no longer blue because it feels unblue due to these uh, circumstances. Hey. Alright, let's take them both, YOLO. Damn, son. So wait, if you have the tarot cloth, does Suicide King give you a different effect? I think I might need to test it out and figure it out, guys. Not tainted blue baby either, for some reason. Ah, <coughs> 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 oh, excuse me. So reason they don't get one or two soul heart deals. I see it, thanks. Yeah, I need some water too. Yeah, so we'll pass on the Suicide King. <clears throat> yeah, that one's no good. Oh my god, dude.
Oh yeah, I went up there to check out the shop. Forgot about that detail of it. This guy's awesome. <clears throat> I think the moment you get the wafer in this challenge, you win it. Yeah, definitely. We've got to get the key from this guy so we can keep getting angel rooms. Give me the key. Or if you get a little brimstone. Also another victory condition. I think that was how I might have beaten it however long ago I did this challenge on the Switch. Fortunately you then wouldn't be able to control the brains. Oh, yeah. Gotta be able to control his brains. Let's give you a really good damage option, though. Yeah, it'd be dangerous to control that with the brains. I think that was why I may have worked with it, but... It might have been like a different run where I just had one brain and the... One brain and one brim. Bob Brain, Baby Brim. Time to break that rock. Yeah, I guess something protects me from those mushrooms. Probably a Bob brain effect. Well, that's good to know as well, because breaking the mushrooms can sometimes, like, give you something really good. Um, you can get a few different pedestal items from those.
can random jump in, dude. And right into the rock with the bomb. Man. Well, guys. This stream has been absolute. It's been the complete trash. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> this stream has been just something like something amazing so far and I'm going to continue it boom just get baited though right <laughs> yeah I just gotta use the bathroom real quick but I'm determined to get this challenge done I feel good I feel like this emote so yeah let me a moment guys and then we will do more runs BRB Yo, 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 what's up guys? All right, I'm back. So let's do more brains. Brains. Gotta try to stay alive with these brains. Just gonna feel great to do runs that are back to normal after this one. take damage anyway but just wanted to be careful oh man that's a good deal bro I would like to buy that soul heart this 
one of the only things I've noticed in this game that's slightly different for me <coughs> if wearing these glasses versus not is um, telling the difference between the orange flames that shoot at you and the light orange ones that don't. It's like a little bit harder to tell the difference. Self-induced color blindness kind of thing. <laughs> Something like that. Well, didn't get the money. Hmm. I think this guy can sometimes give you money. Got money? Hmm, damn. Apparently you can probably get a soul heart for six coins or more. We've got to see it's the secret room right here. Yeah, I hope we'll get another soul heart. That beggar you just killed. Yeah. Yeah, if we had six coins or more, right? <laughs> Increases the radius of friendly creep. Yeah, sure, why not? Let me out of here. Let me out of here. Need that cork trinket for the when life gives you lemons challenge. Oh yeah, it probably increases the size for that, right? Or maybe it does it increase the size of I think it increases the size of the puddle I'm creating. Oh yeah, it increases that by a lot. Yeah, so this is good for this challenge too. I can draw you guys an omega, mega large heart. Let's do this. Oh yeah, I barely got that on there. <laughs> I guess we can still do the same small one. It's like all filled in. Too bad it's not Valentine's Day. But actually I'm glad it's the summer. It's kind of a better time of the year. <laughs> yeah, for a lemon party pill it fills the entire room. It's a normal sized room. Nice. Yeah, I guess we'll give this a shot. Hmm, damn son. Looking pretty good so far then. Not bad. Well. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, I could have treated three hearts for that book right there. Don't know. Just don't know if that'd be worth the trade off. Gives you immunity to the mushrooms. So we gotta check those all for sure. pick up a trinket to dodge taking deals you don't want. Oh wow, I didn't even think of that. Okay, I need to do that next time. That's a cool trick. Thanks for the bun. Oh, Mayor. Is that why you posted that Mayor on your Discord because of the new emote? <laughs> it's really cute. I, I was like, random bun Mayor. <laughs> and now this makes sense. And um, that reminded me of um, <laughs> the game Town of Salem because there's a Mayor role in that game. Of Salem. Wow, your message failed to send is a thing. Oh, did one of yours fail to send? XD added the emote because of the Discord, it was funny. Nice. Yeah, that is such a fantastic amazing thing when the discord can like have a good meme or something and it's like this meme will live on in the form of an emote I'm gonna start doing this challenge with you on my own file oh yeah I appreciate that join the club cubester <laughs> join the bomb club we all gotta do this one to get any file 100% so <laughs> now's the time to join But yeah, the bun mayor is so good because like I feel like that's like one of the one of the best like OG bunny archetypes, I guess, is like the the old rabbit mayor who like is the rabbit who has the really tall ears and like is really wise and like wears like overalls and like um has a lot of wisdom. And it is kind of has like a thinner facial structure, and um, you know, like holds out their pinky like this when they're like drinking like tea from like a a tea cup or something. That's the most important part. Oh God! No! I mean, yes. You know what? Fuck this shit. Taking the cat head. Wow. The game giveth and taketh away at the same time. One fell swoop.
Nice. Oh my god, this sucks. The heck, that thing just switched to another OST. Yeah, that was not my favorite boss fight, but... Uh, no, we're not doing second impact right now. I'm gonna do side pocket too. I haven't heard this one yet. I'm really excited though, because I like side pocket one OSD a lot. No you. No you. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Your spot, homie. Presented by Theater East. Theater East, man, they have all the best ones. They've got the Side Pocket OST, Side Pocket 2 OST, um, there's probably some other good ones as well that I'm missing. Stressful, man. Nice. <laughs> right after he goes down. Swag money. Swag money, one million. And I don't have any bombs. But right now we have some property where if I run into the guy it'll start the thing, so I'll just do that. Because of my poison damage or whatever it is. Go, he's freaking bomb. I guess that was kind of worth it, probably, maybe. I just got glowing hourglass from the shop. Okay, that is so based. 
I salute your run and wish you the best of luck with this one. That is so based, dude. Ah, shoot. He got the little hole name. This won't be like the last time I got this curse and ended up with half of a soul heart left. Yeah, I guess we'll take the random teleport. Despite my luck, I'm probably not free yet. Yeah, I mean, there can be some rooms you have to go through that are so tough that it would even still be tough on the, the second or third time, but if you, if you remember to use that anytime you like take like one or two hits or use it wisely or something like that. This will be a, a strong asset. Okay. A lot of times they just get close to me right away and I'm too nervous to shoot the bomb at all. Ugh, oh, freaking circle, dude. I like, I didn't even need to worry about the spiders. They just died, but that stupid circle right on my ass the whole time, man. Screw all circles. Like squares and triangles better anyway. has been very annoying. Hopefully we can at least find the shop on this route in the boss room. never really be in the clear on this challenge. It's too crazy. Oh, there's one good thing. I have like four or five left or something. Nine and a half? Alright, we can work with that. Uh. Alright, seven and a half. We can work with that.
Ugh, come on. And that's another thing about this challenge is how much uh, it's based around luck because um, any room configuration where you're going to be really close to the enemies it's not as easy. That means we'll get like twice as many blue flies from this thing. Oh man, all my flies freaking ran into these guys' masks. Wait for all the bombs to respawn. my sweet time to mid max and got stop get stopwatch and a soul heart from the shop nice yeah stopwatch might be super clutch slow down some enemies that might have otherwise rushed right to you Good old mid maxing. It's the way to go right there. puppy not sure if that's good to take yeah I'd be pretty worried about taking it for the fact that it might be hard to calm that thing down but 
with only having bombs to shoot at it. One way to go. Oh, hey, that's a good amount of uh, blue flies. Made a decision to take Blood Puppy for the reason that it technically breaks the challenge. Oh, wait, does the Blood Puppy not hurt you when you're in this mode of, uh, not getting hit by rocks or something. Wrong. That'd be pretty awesome. <sighs> That'll hurt too, but you don't have to rely on bombs all the time. Yeah, I see what you mean. Yeah, that can definitely, like, get you through a lot of runes really well. Everything about this room is hashtag not worth right now. I wanted to get the other key piece, but if I would have battled one of those guys, I would end up also probably battling another one. Shouldn't have gone there. Gotta remember that one drops the trail.
Thank you for giving me the confidence to do this challenge again. Oh yeah, sure thing. Yeah, I like um, doing the challenging challenges in this game, so it's totally my pleasure and I think that during this stream will be the payoff of the grind of this challenge being completed. It's so rewarding. Yeah, I'm glad that you like uh, playing this game and watching this stream. It's a cool vibe. I've done that many times watching and playing Street Fighter 6. <laughs> it always works out really well because then it's just like... Oh my god, dude. Uh, it's just like I'll like play one round and then watch a round of the stream and then right when that's done, hop on mine for another one. Okay, we got this. Hard part is over. a freaking crossroads, dude. Really hard choice between Mitre and Holy Mantle. Yeah. I love the Holy Mantle. I would pretty much choose that over anything, but I can totally understand that at the same time. My turn can be pretty clutch. And yeah, hopefully we'll get one or two clutch items on this run. to get a lucky run like this one. Oh yeah, no doubt. Yeah, I wish the run where I got the Soul Heart book would have came along later once I was like a little more warmed up to using the bombs. Now my aim and defense have gotten a little bit better. So we're making progress. This challenge is that Bob's brain counts as bomb damage. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's why they've got to give you three of those. Just like it's the ultimate freaking troll move. Mucho explosion right in your face. To stand up and stretch again soon though my legs are kinda sore. Um. Oops. 
Oh my god, dude. He's running into all the exploding things. Oh, whoops, I restarted the run totally accidentally. Completely by accident, whoops. Yeah, I'm never gonna forget this word, brains. Associated with this challenge, like I'll just be like talking to somebody and they're like, yeah, something, something like brains and I'm like, what word did you just say? Ah, oh, just gives me flashbacks to thousands of hours grinding for this challenge and Binding of Isaac. No, I don't think it'll really take that long. Even if I finish it on the next stream. Ooh, nice. This crawl space is looking good. Looking mighty fine. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much worthless. I made to take damage for this shit. Uh, yeah, I don't think he's gonna double my bombs. Something really good for seven in the shop. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll take that. I was actually able to enter boss rush. Nice. Yeah, you were definitely cruising along that. That sounds pretty tight. Good old triple bomb in your face, boy. Alright, this run is way better than the previous run previous run. I have a fool card, took rod and baby. Oh yeah, I love doing that trick. Yeah, the fool card in the boss rush is super clutch. I'm glad you said that. I had kind of, I'd kinda of forgotten about that one. It's been a while since I did that. Yeah, Rotten Baby is so good for this challenge. I'm gonna try to summon some Rotten Baby energy. Since we got the upgraded blue flies. Or maybe I won't try to summon the Rotten Baby energy. That actually sounds kinda bad. Um... <laughs> Some money. Oh, 
Oh, that's good too. I would really like to get 15 coins. Alright, and then there's one I left down there. And last but not least. Bingo. Alright, this run has some potential. Feeling good about this. Because this item allows Isaac to choose from two different items or from two different room clear rewards. Which is after every room clear, you get to choose one of the two. Pretty goaded. Pretty based. of maxing to the mid to the mid max maximizing or something like that um, <laughs> grab that soul heart too Probably wouldn't have happened if you didn't show me that these shops are important. Oh yeah, no, I um, I'm glad that I can share some of my knowledge. The many hours of experience, love to share the fruits of these labor, and um, <laughs> yeah, there's just like so much stuff about this game. It's crazy. But yeah, I'm glad I was reminding you about that. Going to the shops, for sure. Especially because a lot of them got the soul heart for five coins in many cases. Don't like doing this room with bombs. Okay, yeah, let's go down here.
come on. This one has could be good. Freaking spider. really get me with this bomb challenge. Characters that can't get, or characters that can't have red hearts get set to one soul slash black heart. No, no thank you. super busy running around today my legs are pretty sore so yeah just let me uh, stand up and stretch real quick guys super quick standing stretching break uh brb
done my standing up and stretching. We've got an awesome run here with some awesome stuff, awesomeness. If we happen to awesomely come across an awesome Hierophant card, it will give us three awesome soul hearts instead of two. Awesomely. Sucks. I haven't gotten as lucky as you when it comes to breaking womb rocks. So a chance at shooting at you when they break, yeah. Yeah, that's something you always gotta watch out for for real. When you have the rock breaking walk. out for us sometimes so I just felt like pointing those womb rocks out oh no yeah I appreciate it yeah that's a good reminder I think I might have um like forgot about that or band of you or something oh jeez man Hopefully we'll run into some skulls as well in the next two floors and get some of this health back. Definitely need this shop. So we're going back. this for the next floor. Yo, Tainted Apolly, what's going on dude? Welcome to the stream. Welcome back to the stream. Glad you could make it for this one. Just grinding out the good old freaking brains challenge. Trying to use my brain to get through this. How are you guys? Doing really well. I had a pretty good busy day. It was really good except for the part of getting rained on. It could have been a little less rainy, <laughs> but uh, yeah, after that, I was taking a shower and chilling, enjoying some Binding of Isaac, and it has been such a joy trying to, ah, uh, trying to not get screwed over in this challenge. A very difficult mission. Nope, that helps. But yeah, thanks for asking. I hope you've been having a great day as well. Um, if there's anything you want to share about the day, or especially if you've been doing any awesome gaming lately. Maybe some awesome Binding of Isaac runs. I think if I recall correctly, your username originates from this game or something, maybe. <laughs> there is the shop, finally. Jeez, man. Gave up my whole health bar to get here. Literally. Nice. 
Alright, we'll at least get one more shop at some point. There's one little thing I want to share with you. Oh yeah, what is it? Totally, what's up? There's a lot of bombs. Yeah, I hope that brains run's going good for you still, goopster. The day's going well, by the way. Nice, nice. Love to hear that. Sounds good. Alright, let's see if there's a secret room here. In case we can get in the one heart room. Alright, what's going on in here? Okay. There we go. Check Discord. Alright, I got you. Yeah, we'll take the plus one health. Um, I'm gonna skip fighting that guy. If we get a soul heart here, I'll fight him. Nah, I'm skipping it. Mm, I like this song. It took me two hours? Oh. Interesting. Oh nice, that's really awesome. <laughs> yeah, it turned out really cool, dude. It's a really amazing drawing of... Love that random music lol. Yeah, this OST just got a whole lot cooler. This is definitely one of my favorites. But yeah, it was a really good drawing of that super meat boy guy doing a thumbs up. Yeah, thanks for uh, for sharing that dude. That's really cool. Yeah, at this point I have enough money. Let's see if we get some good shit luck. Hey, thank you. It's basically the whole reason I got that item earlier, so that could happen. I'm hiding back here. Oh yeah, sure thing, dude. Yeah, I think drawing video game characters is a really cool thing. Love seeing that that kind of stuff. Makes me want to stream Super Meat Boy. I've been thinking about streaming that at some point. I feel like I should kind of go beat Celeste first, though. Yeah, like I've been on Twitch for like a certain number of amount of time, like some number of hundreds of hours or what have you, and um, there are a lot of people who misrepresent the idea of what being an artist means, what being an artist is. Uh, I'm not trying to discredit any artists out there, but... Yeah, if you know, you know what I mean then, but so I know there's people who are actually artists and like put the pen to the paper or just like write some cool words or 
Anything with artwork, I think is really good. This is great. I probably should have actually used that a little bit. I forgot I have a lot of money. Into the chest with full HP. All right, that's what's up, dude. <laughs> yeah, it's like we we're talking about. Oh man, we're going into this pretty tough challenge run, and let's say your first run when you got there that far, man. That's a uh, pretty awesome, pretty awesome awesomeness. Attempt today, but I did try many times before. Yeah, I feel that. Yeah, I feel that vibe. Sure, why not? Well, actually, yeah, no, nah, since I have this trinket, I want to keep that. If I can use this and grab this active item on the same frame. Ah, oh, I used it way too early. Dang it. Well, there we go. Floor 5 once again. Maybe some more time to have a shot at getting some health up. This run even has a chance. some health or did something good. Oh yeah, I have flight now. Yeah, I consider that an absolute win. Too fast. We got flight. Yeah, hopefully after we got the dice room swag, we can ride this one out for a while.
Also starter deck. Oh yeah, that'll be good. We get a couple of good offensive uh, cards. Deep blue baby without being hit. Mega Satan being scared. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty pretty hype then. Yeah, GG on that one, dude. Oh man, come on. We gotta go see what's in the shop, dude. Somebody destroy this double clone thing. No, yeah, sure thing. Thanks again for, um... For playing it long and telling us about your run. It's like two runs at the same time, but one is the run, just the story in chat. <laughs> Okay, nice. Alright, if I see another slot machine, we're gonna ring that thing like till the cows come home or something like that. Oh, yeah, we can hold two. These are both basically the same thing. Okay. Um, so yeah, we have to get the shop on the next floor now. Would you like to know what you unlock for beating this challenge, or do you want to find out yourself? Yeah, you can tell me. You can tell me. I, I'm not worried about spoilers. I was kind of wondering that. I've seen most stuff at... I might mention how much I freaking hate this challenge. So I think I was shooting a bomb and a red fly spawned or something. Really annoying just happened right there. Stud finder if I remember well. Uh yeah, stud finder. Kinda remember what that does. Yeah, I really need to find some studs because uh, I can't even think of a joke for that. No. Never heard of Stud Finder in my life. Yeah, it's some kind of trinket that like does a thing where something glows or... Uh, I kind of forgot actually, but... Crawl Space. There's maybe 0.5 chance for a crawl space for every rock. Oh, nice. I keep forgetting. Uh, what is that thing? Yeah, that's right. It's no wonder I never use that. Deals a full heart of damage to deal like a tiny bit of damage. Honestly, this shit, it's a piece of shit, it's not, um, it's not making the cut, so we're taking the portable slot machine. I'm mostly only going to use this after we pass floor 6, like once we're past all the shops. But we still have a long way to go after that, so this will be good for around that time. I'll report you for gambling, lol. It's alright, I think Twitch will be like, ah, you're good. Uh, what currency was that again? Binding of Isaac coins? Yeah, you're good. 
apparently an additional 1 in 200 chance for a crawl space to spawn. Oh yeah, 1 in 200 is the same as 0.5%, so that's probably was around the... or based on the same info. New stud, who dis? I miss having the huge green cloud from that one trinket. Epic mass tainted a Bali. Two plus two, that's four. Minus one, that's three. Quick math. <laughs> Does anybody else know that meme I'm talking about? Good trinket. Mm, no, I don't think that applies to Soul Hearts, but I'll pick it up just for the heck of it. thinking about running away from the bomb that ran into the guy in the next room. That was a vine or a baldy's basic meme. What, the 2 plus 2 is 4 minus 1 that's 3 quick math thing you mean? Well, actually, if that's the meme you're referring to, then I do happen to know the source of this one. If that's the meme you're referring to. Topic of conversation has switched to me. Yeah, so I was referring to. <laughs> yeah, so this actually comes from a song. Um, the song by this guy. Uh, I forgot what his name is, but it's like this British rap song by this guy. I think from the United Kingdom. And yeah, the whole song is just really like, <laughs> I don't know, like, it's hard to explain, you have to really listen to it, but that's one of the lines in this song, and so people kept just like roasting that guy for having to be a line, and then it just kind of became a meme after so many people thought it was funny. Because that is like the ultimate rap line for like you're trying to just fill up space with words but you're not really like saying something that's meaningful to yourself unless that guy like does a lot of daily like mental math or something but like it, like most of the time when people talk about math and rap songs it's like oh yeah I count a lot of things from counting all this money but this guy was literally just like, yeah, I'm doing some math, dude. <laughs> doing some elementary school addition, or kind of preschool, I guess. Pretty cool song, though. It's a cool song. I, I, would, I would listen to it again. It's been a while, though. So yeah, it was just like the lyrics from a guy's song, but it does seem like it would be something like a meme that came from, um, Nine Gag or or what have you.
Okay. Okay, so... Um... We'll go this way first. that like pushed me but it didn't do damage to me. It was on like the very outer radius of that explosion. Oh dear. Thank goodness they got one shotted. Man, that was perfect timing. Correct about Blood Puppy, by the way. Very good item for the challenge. No, yeah, that totally makes sense. Like, after you said that, I was thinking about it, and it's kind of like Robo Baby 2.0 or whichever one you can, like, kind of control. But the Blood Puppy is even better, because, like, with the Robo Baby, you would have to be shooting bombs always. But the Blood Puppy, you can just chill. It only takes one Bob's brain to calm it down. Oh yeah, that's good then. That's the part I was thinking like might have been difficult. But the fact they made it only one, that's a really good idea. That kind of makes sense too, because like the Bob's brain does a lot of damage and it doesn't usually take like a ton of shots to calm the thing down. To calm that Rapscallion down. Yeah, I'll have to unlock that thing so I can get some runs of it. Those are always pretty fun. And... You know what, let's just spin for soul hearts. Well, that was good. Alright, if we get 15, I'm coming back. According to the beast here, it has 20 HP. Bombs usually do 100. Dang, only 20, huh? Oh, I almost got the double kill. Oh my god, there's gonna be a million of these things. There we go. That was helpful. Okay. Speed up. Love to see it. Yeah, 
Nice. Yeah, this is that smooth jazz vibe. Alright, Catacombs 2. do like portable gambling with this active item. I feel like those people who like constantly use sports betting apps on their cellular devices. Yeah, that's like actually a thing. Still I'm kind of in disbelief about it. Yeah, I guess so. May have a health up. Cool. Feels good, man. And we have the 1.0 speed. This could be the run, my friends. Yeah, let's go. Oh 
Yeah, I get Rex son. Let's go. Yo, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. He turned invisible. What the heck's going on? Ah. Uh, you annoying bastard. Take a damage. That's okay though. Okay. Yeah, getting that sensor thing is so good. That always helps me a lot. That sample. First I was gonna grab this one, but then I was like, let's grab Pokemon Go. Then I actually grabbed this one. True story. Yeah. I'll have to play Pokemon Go another day.
Yeah, it's honestly crazy like how much the sensor uh, slows things down by. Pretty crazy, Loki. It was right where we killed him last time as well. All right, more speed. Feel pretty good. Feel good. Monkey ball lately. Let's do the good old Super Monkey Ball soundtrack. Ooh, Super Monkey Ball Step and Roll OST. Yeah, we'll try that out. Um. <laughs> Okay. There we go. That's more like it. I would really like to 100% the step and roll game at some point. I have a balance board. Yeah, for you guys who don't know, there's a super monkey ball game for the Wii that uses the balance board. It's like a whole game just around the balance board. It's incredible. Oh my god. Because this sensor is right behind me, so the bombs are further behind me than usual. That's what's so different. gonna affect my tears or my run or anything but on the off chance that this one does I'm gonna take it because there's an extra soul heart right here all right let's go if I keep having this much health I would want to be locked into devil deals as well and now I am. And let's do a ceremonious ringing of the bell or the slot machine. Cool. Not cool. Uh, Alright, well I have to come back for that soul heart. We get hit. Wouldn't want that to go to waste.
Name drop. This is actually a really cool theme song though. Saving all future rolls for whenever I have the lower amount of health. Go back and get my soul heart. Before the boss. Nice. annoying sometimes how long these things take to fire. But yeah, that was a good fight. More speed. Alright, we take those.
keep thinking this song is like gonna go to like a next part or something, but it's just like literally like a two second loop over and over. A little bit of drums. Very small drum break, that's the perfect way to break it up. Beautiful song, GG. I can just picture it like 30 minutes of this. Ding, 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 ding. But no, this song is cool though. This is really atmospheric. I can just picture like someone kind of like waddling around a balance board. Oh, we got a short version of that song, but the other one was playing forever. Crazy dude. All right, gotta, that's the game with listening to this OST. We gotta guess, short or long? I think this one will be a long one. I need some slight distraction. Nothing too distracting, but something to distract me from the fact that I'm, I'm on the run of my life right now. Or the, or the run of the stream. Yeah, that's sensor. Definitely the goat and also random placenta. We take those. Whoa. This is like one of the stupidest moments I've ever had playing this game. Like having a big room with these enemies is already pretty dumb. Just, just that alone. Dude, like I literally feel as though this is ridiculous. Oh, thank goodness. That took like 20 minutes, like literally. Or something close to that.
Oh, that took a long time. Yeah, I think I've just been like doing this challenge for a long time. It feels like it's been almost like six hours and 16 minutes and 40 seconds minus like the first challenge doing eye roll took me like 20 minutes or something. <laughs> but no, uh, this is this is the type of grind that I very much enjoy streaming because it's the one where I'm about to win. Let's go. There we go. It's a strong boy. So if that looks back around, I'm guessing we're going up that way. Or not. Um, maybe it is over this way. Ooh, nice. Appreciate that. Um, and get trapped by the bomb almost. Alright, let's slow things down and regenerate the three bombs before these rooms. Proceed with caution. Nice.
my god, dude. Got more than half of our health at least. Ooh, nice. Yeah, the random slot machine is the goat this run. Alright, so one more floor to go. Farewell, slot machine. Alright, let's do this. That didn't explode open. I didn't really think that would work, but I was like, ha, ah, it's worth a shot. Oh, so now we will get some of the black hole effect or tears effect we got earlier. I just saw this thing shoot one of those. Nice. That is definitely helpful. It was really funny.
Okay. Oh, you gotta run that invalidates the challenge. Oh, really? Yeah, I guess the sensor pretty much does. I don't know, like, invalidates is necessarily the right word, because, like, I think it's still valid. Valid run. But I see what you mean, that it, um, is something that, like, completely overtakes your chances of winning. Nice. Kane's other eyes shoots your tears too. Yeah, I've gotten that on so many of the runs. Uh dude, I fucking hate this boss. Uh the boss is most hated by me. Yeah, the Kane's other eye. It's been pretty clutch on these runs too. Especially when I had the brimstone earlier. Oh my god, why are all my shots missing? Oh, I hate this floor. Still got this, still got this. out and fight me like a man. Oh, not this shit again. Yeah. As Roman said, invalidates the challenge. We definitely got a run that can beat Blue Baby. Not too much value in Kane's other eye. Yeah, the Kane's other eye really good. Um, yeah, it's that time of the evening where I gotta freaking yep fogging up my glasses. Gotta go close my window and turn on my AC, guys. So yeah, super short break, y'all. We are. Alright gamers, we have a run on our hands here and we're right at the spot before the, the boss. Got three hearts and the chariot, which is good. Uh, I want to, I want to uh, mid max, I want to maximize my chance of winning so I'm going to use these 
coins on the slot machine. Alright, so we have the chariot. It's the main thing to keep in mind. Use the chariot once I have low health or an opportune time. Focus on the sensor. That'll be my key to staying safe. Um, yeah, baby. Blue baby versus blue baby. Baby on baby. Gotta stop making so many debatey jokes. Nah, this sensor is kind of broken though, low key. <laughs> this thing has carried a lot of my greed and greedier runs in the past. He's taken flight. Oh god. Teleported right in front of me. Nothing personal, kid. to use a lot of bombs, the whole golden bombs thing. Oh well. The chariot! GG! Man, this is giving me a flashback to my stream yesterday, ending on a triumphant note. Well guys, I did the thing. Brains. Many brains. Yeah, we, we exploded like like a hundred times as many brains as that in order to get this challenge done, but um mission complete. Anything you dream of, you can accomplish. Yeah, that was a perfect call out by the Step and Roll OST. I'm adding this one to my playlist as well. Make sure we save that to the OST playlist. All right. Yeah, so that's gonna be it for me for tonight, guys. I'm gonna get out of here and eat a bunch of food and chill. Yes, like unlocking Stud Finder in the Binding of Isaac, you can achieve that if you want to, yes. And you can also achieve high leaderboard times in Super Monkey Ball Banana Rumble Time Attack, which I will probably be tackling tomorrow. I think I'm gonna do two streams tomorrow, do that early, and then do something else later in the evening. Um, I also might go for a bike ride tomorrow. Let's see what they're saying for the weather tomorrow. Grand reveal of the weather for tomorrow on stream reaction. 55% mm, chance of rain. Ugh. It's gonna be 90. Ugh. Yeah, we'll see. I think I might just do a lot of streaming tomorrow. Find some other shorter outside activity than going on a long bike ride. Uh, but yeah, this was a really great stream. So big shout outs to Goopster, Tainta de Polly, Empress Fordola, to Kobe Rabbit, and also Smooth Smooth Operator or um, or Smooth something. Yeah, Goopster and Tainted Apolly, Binding of Isaac, homies, really appreciate you guys 
thank you for chilling in the stream and enjoying it. Really great community here. And um, yeah, it's been awesome to stream and chat with you guys this stream. So I really appreciate all that. If you guys have been enjoying my content, there's a lot more coming very soon with streaming more of this game. More Monkey Ball, more Final Fantasy Rhythm game, more Street Fighter, more Super Mario World, just a lot of stuff. We have a, a good wide variety of stuff going down, so it's going to be great. I'm very enthused about it. And yeah, I'm going to get out of here. So yeah, thanks again for the support, everyone. I super appreciate it, y'all. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.